Well, hi everyone and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I had a very successful live stream this evening on gyro compasses and I was going to go to bed. But before I did, I just happened to have a look at some of my comments and somebody quoted this video to me as proof that the flat earth is covered with a dome. And I had seen this before, so I decided to go ahead and have a look at it and see what the fuss was about. So let's go ahead and review it together and I'll show you where a flat earth conspiracy story that is the overwhelming uh, concern in the mind of these flat earthers looking for evidence that somehow supports this silliness leads them astray. So let's go ahead and have a look at this real quick. I thought it was kind of funny and you know it was worth a weekend video for me. Okay, you guys remember how I showed you the maps that were here on Earth before 1958, before the governments took them out. Now I'm going to show you the Encyclopedia Britannica's in Americana. the public libraries before 1958. Here is volume two out of the alphabet A. Americana. We're going to flip to the Antarctica, which, and this is from 1958, as you can see. Good. Now, can we're going to flip to the Antarctica and see what the Encyclopedia Britannica from 1958 Americana. before the Antarctic Treaty says is there. If this guy says Britannica one more time and repeats Antarctic Treaty and 1958 one more time, I'm going to have to write a strongly worded letter to the White Star Line. Now you won't find this in the new encyclopedias because the governments banned them. But what I want you to notice right here is notice how it says the flights proved inland areas to be featureless in character with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south, longitude 90 degrees east. Okay, so I'm going to stop him right there because he is reading this as a dome, as in some sort of terrarium cover, which seems to be popular with the flat earth. Uh, let's go see what a dome actually is when we talk about geography. And there it is, right there. Let's go see what we got. A dome in structural geography, or excuse me, now you got me doing it. A dome in structural geology, is, which is the three-dimensional study of rock layers, is basically uh, consisting of symmetrical anticlines right there. You see what an anticline is? It's an upheaval of rock, kind of dome-shaped, with their respective apices. Now, the interesting thing about these domes is that the oldest rock is in the center, and as you work your way out, the rock is younger, you know, at least ge geologically. So let's go ahead and have a look at what this means. Now, if you have a dome of rock, you're going to have an elevation of that dome of rock above sea level. Maybe we should perhaps have a look at Google Earth. And let's go ahead and put my cursor on 90 degrees east. Now, as you can see down at the bottom, I'm at 92 degrees east. There, 90 degrees, 45 minutes, 90 degrees, 26 minutes. Notice that the elevation at 86 degrees south, which is four degrees off the pole, is what? 10,474 feet. Do you see that down at the bottom? Now let's just work our way northward along this 90 degree east longitude line. Look at the elevations. Okay. Look at the elevations. 12,000. Now we're at 90 degrees east, 79 south. That's 12,263 feet. Now we're working our way a little further. Okay, you see how it's starting to come down again? Down to 11,000 feet. 
Now we're out down about 73 degrees, 72 degrees. See, it worked its way down a little bit, but let's look right back here at 90 degrees east and 80 degrees south, 12,268 feet, according to the elevation on Google Earth. And if you have any doubt as to where you are, there you go, Antarctica. That's the exact spot. There's a dome of rock out there. There's, uh, sometimes they're called rises, sometimes they're called ridges. They're different structures, but basically that area of Antarctica is higher than the surrounding area. That's the dome. Now, if you don't understand something, look it up. So I'm real glad that I was able to help you all out with that. That is the dome that they are talking about in Antarctica. It's a rise of land, and the elevation in that area is about 12,000 12, feet. That's not bad. It matches exactly what they're talking about in that, in that Encyclopedia Americana. So I was glad I was able to clear this up for you. And every time you see this brought up in a conversation in the Flat Earth community, give them a little chuckle for me. This is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Y'all take care and see you again soon. Make sure you hit that little like and subscribe button down in the lower right corner. I could really use you on the channel. Take care, guys.